Hi, I'm Raymond. I'm a psychologist working for MSF here in Hong Kong. Uh, we have activities here where we try to help people to deal with the panic that they're experiencing and the anxiety related to the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, one of the difficulties that we see, why people are actually so afraid of the virus, is that it's experienced as something very threat threatening, life-threatening in fact. So in our body we have something called like a fight, flight and freeze response, which is unconsciously triggering our activities, the way we think and the way how we feel. The system is created to react, let's say, in a short period of time. The problem that we have now is that we are exposed for a very long period of time constantly with this threat. No? Every news media, every headline, every um, feed that we see, every message that we receive related to this might start a little bit of this uh, fight and flight and freeze reaction in our body. This leads us to isolate ourselves. This leads us to have sleeping problems. This uh, makes us being afraid of actually seeking healthcare because we might be afraid as well of being stigmatized what other people think about us. This uh, changes our shopping habits. So there's people who are feeling so afraid of running out of some basic goods. Uh, that means they're sh hoarding or shopping as much as they can. But what I want you all to know is that you can learn to have an impact on how you perceive things and how you deal with the situation inside of you. That means, how do I deal with the stress? How do I deal with the anxiety? How do I deal with the messages I'm reading? And for this, we can give you some small advice maybe that you can try to, to use, okay? First of all, um, what is important in very stressful in times or say very stressful situations is use uh, relaxation coping mechanisms that you have so for some people it's even enough when you're like very stressed to just take a few deep breaths or you can use muscle relaxation techniques you can use meditation you can use any kind of relaxation that helps you the second part try to be uh, aware of where is the information coming from so take a break from all of this overflow that that you're experiencing select the information take maybe some time during the day specifically listen to the news get the updates that are important for you but try not to be overwhelmed all the time the the third part is also taking care that we want to emphasize so it's not only about protecting yourself with uh, hand hygiene and so on it's also about healthy diet doing some exercising um, and also taking care of other people who really need our support okay uh, in these times we feel like we're we're uh, like our survival instinct is forcing us to think very egocentrically egoistically so we want to protect ourselves but in fact the ones who are suffering the most or at the highest risks are elderly people and our healthcare workers uh, everybody is facing now a very difficult situation and it's important to to show the world that we are a community and we can help each other